This video will go over a couple of questions from the distance, displacement, velocity, speed, and acceleration fundamentals assignment. An airplane travels 500 kilometers in five hours. What is its average speed? We are given variables 500 kilometers and we're also given five hours. And then we're looking for average speed. So we need to determine what, what is 500 kilometers? Like what variable does that correspond to? What is that telling us? Is it telling us the distance, displacement, time, speed, velocity? So we know that 500 kilometers is a measurement of distance. So I'm going to write D equals 500 kilometers. Next, five hours. Well, that is time. And lastly, we're going to write down the variable that we're trying to solve for, and that would be average speed or just speed. So I put question marks for that. All right, now we can look at our different equations. So the equation of interest would be this one. So speed is equal to distance divided by time. I highly recommend that you always start off by just writing out the equation in its pure form without any numbers plugged in, just so you have it right there. So speed equals distance over time, and then go ahead and substitute the numbers into the equation. So speed equals distance 500 over time, which is five hours. And uh, we also divide the units, but I'm just going to write it kilometers per hour, like that. And that is our final answer. All right, I'll also do number five. A plane is taking off from rest and reaches a final velocity of 70 meters per second within 10 seconds. What is the plane's average acceleration? I think on your paper, you, it, or your Google Doc, it says speed. Um, technically, it wouldn't matter, but I think when we're first learning, it gets a little confusing. So if you could please change it to velocity, that would be great. Or just remember that I mean velocity. Same thing with number four. All right, so our givens. So we are told uh, a final velocity of 70 meters per second. We're told the time of 10 seconds, and we're told that we're looking for average acceleration. There's one more bit of information that's given to us, but it's not totally obvious, and that would be a plane is taking off from rest. That means that initially our plane or this plane is stopped. So that means, oh, and if you're not sure, you're like, oh, what, how am I, like, I know that these are velocities, but how do I write that? You can look back up here at your, um, do, 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 actually, I didn't even write it here. So we're looking for average acceleration, and that, the equation that I have written down is delta V over T. So let me rewrite that. So delta V means change in velocity, and that is calculated by taking the final velocity, subtracting it from the initial velocity, so Vf minus Vi over time. All right, so that is our equation. I'm going to erase this to give myself some more room. And this is the average acceleration. Okay, so now that we see what variables are involved, it will help us create our chart of givens. So we know Vi, initial velocity, is zero. 
meters per second. The final velocity is 70 meters per second. The time period in which this is taking place is 10 seconds. And we are looking for, of course, the acceleration. So I'll put a question mark. All right, I already have my equation written out in its pure form, and now I can add in those numbers. So A is equal to final velocity, 70 meters per second, minus initial velocity, which is just zero, all over 10 seconds. Okay. And we'll do what's in the numerator first, but there's not much to do because it's just going to be 70 meters per second. And if we reduce this, we will get 7. And for the units, if we had meters per second divided by seconds, you know, we can always just put a one under, um, like when you're, we have a fraction on the left and then not a fraction on the right. So I just made it into a fraction by putting it over one. And then if you have to divide a fraction, that would be the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal. So it's like meters per second times the reciprocal of seconds over one, which would be one over seconds. And so when we're multiplying fractions, multiply the numerator together, which gives us meters. Multiply the denominator together, seconds times seconds is not two seconds, it's seconds squared. And so our unit, our final answer, I'm kind of running out of room. Meters per second squared. And that is the correct unit for acceleration. So that's a good way to kind of check yourself. So if you get the right units, then you know, well, you probably did it right. So try out the rest of the assignment and let me know if you have questions.